Welcome everyone, Apple has just released a brand new iOS 14.5.1 for uh, all devices which received iOS 14. This is just going to be a quick video discussing what's new on this firmware on my iPhone 6s and how does iOS 14.5.1 actually perform on the oldest iPhone to support this firmware, uh, guess what, the iPhone 6s. So first things first, let's check out the build number, if we go to settings, general, and about, you can see the build number right here, uh, 18E212 iPhone 6S. Now, what is actually new with this firmware? Essentially, there was a bug where app tracking transparency, when you turn it off, sometimes you can turn it back on. That is supposedly fixed with iOS 14.5.1. Uh, but if I'm being really honest with you, I've seen on Twitter some devices are still unable to turn back on app tracking or transparency. And if you're wondering what that is, let's say Facebook uh, takes your location 10 times a day. Uh, app tracking transparency, if you have that on, it will tell you, uh, do you want Facebook to continue stealing your data? Yes or no. And if you choose no, obviously, uh, it will disable those uh, trackers. But if app tracking transparency is off, Facebook can be taking your data all day, all night. You, you'd you be able to do nothing about it, right? So that's why uh, it kind of sucks. To, I mean, it's partially fixed, I guess you could say. Let me know in the comments if it, uh, this feature starts working for you. So how is iOS 14.5.1 on my iPhone 6s? Now, surprisingly, uh, it worked okay. So first things first, I mean, App launch times, oh my god, it's actually incredibly fast, right? So let me uh, show you this. This is the Apple Touch 6th generation. I don't know why I like showing this so much, but, um, you know, it's an, it's an older Apple Touch uh, stop uh, being supported on iOS 12. And if we load up settings, you can see, oh my god, this phone is incredibly fast. In fact, I bet if I had my uh, iPhone 8 and I pull it beside this iPhone 6 says it would be the exact same time. So, you know what I'm going to do? This is the iPod Touch 7th generation. So this has the A10 processor. This has A9. And even though this has a, a smaller screen as well. So, in theory, this iPod Touch should be destroying uh, this iPhone 6 says Let's have a look quickly. So, if we just open up settings, you can see... Okay, it's around the same time, right? Which is really impressive. Remember, this phone released in 2015. It's currently 2021. This iPod Touch released in 2019, right? And still, I mean, this device is actually really fast. What I do find confusing, though, is on this iPod Touch, and it's really random, but it has the new music app, but it's running iOS 14.0. <laughs> anyway, I have no clue how enough that works, but I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, moving on, um, that's performance you're not going to see any dips in fact i don't think it's faster than the earlier ios 14 firmwares i remember ios 14 used to lag quite a bit on the iphone 6s it wasn't that much but i mean you saw those app launch times it's actually really fast now the next thing i want to talk about is multitasking now we have two gigs of ram on iphone 6s and really multitasking hasn't actually pain since the firmware's uh, so really the important part is if you're going to be playing a game like a triple game like uh, Fortnite because that's coming back onto the app so soon PUBG, Call of Duty Mobile etc um, and you open up regular apps these applications are now going to start lagging and uh, your multitasking experience isn't going to be great so usually I recommend with one gig of RAM, two gig of RAM, even three gigs of RAM if you're uh, on those devices that if you're playing Fortnite or any game just close out all other apps from the multitasking and once you're done with the game close out the game from the multitasking because that means the regular apps will have enough RAM to function uh, normally and then multitasking is actually pretty good i've actually been able to play like medium games like whole io while using other apps and the apps wouldn't close it's only the triple a games which require a ton of ram that's when the issues start happening but otherwise multitasking is pretty good now let's talk about battery life um it really depends on your battery health for the most part you can see i have a hundred percent uh maximum capacity and this phone is six years old so clearly i know what i'm doing uh, let me know in the comments if you want a real video on how to get 100 uh, percent battery health because you know clearly this this is coming from the expert not some guy on youtube who uh uses you know his iphone 12 pro max oh guys uh, i have 98 percent maximum capacity but you know trust me or oh, no 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 the utter crap right so if you want to see that do let me know in the comments and you can basically preserve your battery for years and years and years is it going to last forever is this phone going to stay at 100 percent maximum capacity forever no is it going to stay for a lot longer absolutely with the tricks i'll be showing in a later video just let me know if you want to see it um really uh battery health does dictate how well your iphone will perform if it's running at peak performance capacity or uh, capability even you have a great experience 
uh, overall with the battery life. However, remember the maximum capacity, if you're at 89%, that means your iPhone can only hold 89% of its initial charge, meaning you're going to have 11% less screen on time, right? If you have 70%, that means you have 30% less screen on time. So just keep these factors in mind. Uh, if you have 100% maximum capacity, no issues. I'd say if you have down to 90%, you're fine, 89 to 85%, that's when the issues start, and anywhere below that, yeah, your, your battery life isn't going to be great. I always say this in my videos, just lock your phone after you update uh, your uh, software, just leave it locked until your phone's cool, because it usually gets hot. Once it's cool, use your phone again, and you'll have a overall great experience. So hopefully this video helped you out, if you did, make sure to smash like, subscribe if you're brand new, see you guys later, bye-bye.